once there lived a big and wonderfully clever pig. To everybody it was plain that Piggy had a massive brain. He worked out sums inside his head. There was no book he hadn't read. He knew what made an airplane fly. He knew how engines worked and why. He knew all this, but in the end, one question drove him round the bend. He simply couldn't puzzle out what life was really all about. What was the reason for his birth? Why was he placed upon this earth? His giant brain went round and round. Alas, no answer could be found. Till suddenly, one wondrous night, all in a flash, he saw the light. He jumped up like a ballet dancer and yelled, By gum, I've got the answer. They want my bacon, slice by slice, to sell at a tremendous price. They want my tender, juicy chops to put in all the butcher shops. They want my pork to make a roast, and that's the part that'll cost the most. They want my sausages in strings. They even want my chitterlings. The butcher shop, the carving knife, that is the reason for my life. Such thoughts as these are not designed to give a pig great peace of mind. Next morning, in comes Farmer Bland, a pail of pig swill in his hand. And Piggy, with a mighty roar, bashes the farmer to the floor. Now comes a rather grisly bit, so let's not make too much of it. Except that you must understand that Piggy did eat Farmer Bland. He ate him up from head to toe, chewing the pieces nice and slow. It took an hour to reach the feet because there was so much to eat. And when he'd finished, Pig, of course, felt absolutely no remorse. Slowly he scratched his brainy head and with a little smile he said, I had a fairly powerful hunch that he might have me for his lunch. And so, because I feared the worst, I thought I'd better eat him first. afternoon I said to mummy, who is this person in my tummy? He must be small and very thin, or how could he have gotten in? My mother said from where she sat, it isn't nice to talk like that. It's true, I cried. I swear it, mummy, there is a person in my tummy. He talks to me at night in bed. He's always asking to be fed. Throughout the day, he screams at me, demanding sugar buns for tea. He tells me it is not a sin to go and raid the biscuit tin. I know quite well it's awfully wrong to guzzle food the whole day long, but really I can't help it, Mummy, not with this person in my tummy. You horrid child, my mother cried. Admit it right away, you've lied. You're simply trying to produce a silly, asinine excuse. You are the greedy, guzzling brat, and that is why you're always fat. I tried once more. Believe me, Mummy, there is a person in my tummy. I've had enough, my mother said. You'd better go at once to bed.
Just then, a nicely timed event delivered me from punishment. Deep in my tummy, something stirred, and then an awful noise was heard. A snorting, grumbling, grunting sound that made my tummy jump around. My darling mother nearly died. My goodness, what was that, she cried. At once the tummy voice came through. It shouted, hey there, listen you, I'm getting hungry, I want eats, I want lots of chocks and sweets. Get me half a pound of nuts. Look snappy or I'll twist your guts. That's him, I cried. He's in my tummy. So now do you believe me, mummy? But mummy answered nothing more, for she had fainted on the floor. animal is half so vile as croc, he walk the crocodile. On Saturdays he likes to crunch six juicy children for his lunch, and he especially enjoys just three of each. Three girls, three boys. He smears the boys to make them hot with mustard from the mustard pot, but mustard doesn't go with girls, it tastes all wrong with plats and curls. With them what goes extremely well is butterscotch and caramel. It's such a super marvelous treat when boys are hot. And girls are sweet. At least that's Crocky's point of view. He ought to know. He's had a few. That's all for now. It's time for bed. Lie down and rest your sleepy head. Shh. Listen. What is that I hear? Galumphing softly up the stair. Go lock the door and fetch my gun. Go on, child, hurry, quickly, run. No, stop, stand back. He's coming in. Oh, look, that greasy, greenish skin. The shining teeth, the greedy smile. It's Crocky Walk, the crocodile.